Hey everyone, um, this is day two, morning of day two. I work tonight, so this video is not going to be long. Um, going to uh, clean my biopsy wounds, so I thought you guys might want to see that, or not. <laughs> Either way, it's going to happen. Um, yeah, pretty rough night on the prednisone. My heart felt like it was beating up my chest. Last time I had to um, go to a cardiologist because I didn't know what was happening. I wish they would have just told me that was a side effect of the prednisone, which would have saved me hundreds of dollars. But I know better this time. Um, this video is for those who haven't gone through this yet and uh, just need a few tips. So yeah, that heart beating out of your chest when you lay down, that's completely normal. But of course, if you have dermatomyositis, you want to follow up with a cardiologist because it can affect it. Mine hasn't yet, knock on wood. And uh, yeah, so we're going to get to get in a good position for this biopsy cleaning. It's interesting that the uh, doctor told me to not put like Neosporin or Bacitracin on it and just Vaseline after I clean it with soap and water. I've never heard of that before and um, I'm a registered nurse so new information, a little leery on it even though I do believe the best way to clean a wound is with soap and water but the Vaseline on it, I know it's for moisture because that's good. Moisture is very good for healing. Don't let things scab uh, until way later but um, you know, it's been proven that Vaseline, because of its petroleum base, can attract bacteria. Um, so I'm a little nervous on this one. Let's put some more light in here. Might be a little loud. Ooh. No, that didn't work. Okay. Um, so yeah, here's the Band-Aid. Got some bruising around because they sliced me twice for my skin, but it wasn't super deep. But I did have to take a couple Tylenol last night because it's numbing wore off. And uh, hurts like, hurts like a bitch. Yeah, there's my two biopsy sites. Ooh, this one looks a little bit deeper than this one. You can tell by the, uh, the darker color here. We got, looks like no signs and symptoms of infection. This is the bruising, um, drainage from the Band-Aid. You know, it's great that they put the uh, adhesive part on the wound. You know, it's, it's awesome because I just ripped off some of the scab. But, hey, free debreeding. So I'm going to stick this in the, in the faucet here. That didn't hurt too bad. Just nice and wet. The soap I've chosen today would have to be um, handmade soap. And made from goat's milk. So, uh, so uh, let's see how this cleans it because everything else I have is from Bath and Body Works. I wasn't really prepared for this one. Okay, got my soap on my hands now. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of rub it in there. I know people are afraid to touch a wound because um, they may think it might hurt, but really, wounds really only hurt. Uh, if they are getting infected. So, so yeah, this is completely no signs and symptoms of infection, no uh, green drainage or yellow drainage, no redness around, no heat. I can feel that. So I'm just going to clean this with soap and water. Da, 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 da. Wash it off. There we go. I'm just going to pat the edges dry. And I say the edges because uh, you don't want to um, touch the actual wound because you uh, are going to completely reintroduce bacteria into the wound. Even if it's a clean towel. Okay, so going down to Vaseline Town. I've had this jar for a hot minute. You can tell by the yellowing, but Vaseline doesn't really like, um, you know, go bad. 
Smells good. Well, it smells like Vaseline. Does it smell funky? Yeah, we'll put some Vaseline on this sucker. See what happens. Now it's kind of funny because Bacitracin and Neosporin are petroleum based, which Vaseline is petroleum jelly, so you know, kind of curious on this one, especially since they have antibacterial properties in it, uh, and Vaseline does not. But uh, on my paperwork, it said that sometimes there's an allergic skin reaction to putting Neosporin on the wound, so I'm again, I'm leery. Here's the band aid, um, but you know. I'm going to trust the doctor, even though us nurses like to just do our own thing, but I'm going to prove that I'm a better patient than most nurses, because they say that nurses make the worst patients. And so, you know, people have trouble putting on a band-aid, so I'm going to teach you two seconds how to put on a band-aid. You just put it nice and flat on dry skin. You kind of rub the edges, make the edges warm because that's what really kind of makes the adhesive activate the the heat and the rubbing to make a band-aid stick better and you'll have notice you'll have less uh, falling off with the band-aid. So not too shabby. You can bend my elbow. You can check the edges like this to see if there's any lifting. No. Not really, even though the elbow is a horrible place for a band-aid. And that's it. Alright, thanks guys. I'm going to go back to sleep now for work tonight. Might make another, another video tomorrow. Have a good one.